Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and today in this video we're going to create lip gloss, realistic lip gloss. And in order to do that, I will give you a link and in that link you will need to download these two files. Okay, show all, show in finder. So you have them here. And now you are creating a new project. It's going to be a blank project. I'm going to switch to myself. And now I'm adding add object and I'm adding face mesh. Let me click on it. First, I'm going to rename it to retouch. I like to begin project with retouch and add material. Retouch. And let's put retouching, not full screen, and 36, 37 is good. And also, guys, the stuff that we downloaded, this lips map and lip lips PNG file, both PNG files, we need to drag them to our assets panel. Okay, that's good. Now we are moving to actually to create the actual uh, like a lip uh, base, and it's also going to be face mesh object. And I want it to be under the face tracker, not under retouch. So I'm going to drag it, and now it's under. A face tracker lips base base and again I'm adding material create new material lips base okay good now we're going to shader type and shader type is gonna be flat searching for flat here and color, you can pick any color that you like, but in my case, so basically you're going to probably end up here, then you can click on this one. And I'm going to pick this one. It's going to be 252165 252. Five, two. So it's going to be this nice pink one. And here I'm clicking on choose uh, this texture and we're uh, picking lips Nadia here then we are going to render option and we are clicking multiply the lips looks good you can keep like this I mean the color like this if you like but I want to make it like less uh, stronger so I'm gonna pick opacity 27 so now it's more like natural color and then we are going to the advanced render options and unclick this and by the way look this uh, watch this video till the end because in the end I'm gonna show you how to improve the quality of your lipstick okay so we are done with the lips base we are adding one more object also face mesh and it's going to be gloss under face tracker. I drag it under face tracker. Lips gloss. And I'm again creating material, creating new material and naming it lips gloss. By the way, if you don't want to use this tutorial and you want to see my future tutorial, like in this corner, bottom right corner, there's going to be uh, like a thing when you can subscribe. So click click on it, not to lose this one. Okay, let's go back to our tutorials. So we are picking them for the glass. We are picking physical base and texture. It's going to be lips Nadia. For metallic, we're going to put 100. For roughness, I'm going to put 18. Then we are going 18. Then I'm clicking this normal. And 
I'm picking the lips Nadia Mac this one Mac and I'm going down render option it's gonna be add and you can see now it's like the shiny but I don't want it to be to be as shiny as it, it's here so I'm gonna put like again also 27 so it looks more natural and I want also want to go to advanced render options and use depth test and, and unlock those also I need to go to the project added properties and capabilities fast tracking and accuracy as you see it's standard and I'm clicking to high so now it's gonna be better and you can play with the opacity here or with the roughness here or with the opacity of the base and to create your own shader and type and by the way I also have Instagram and in that Instagram I put different filters so you can use it for inspiration so please follow me on Instagram and I wish you a good day bye